Hi again, in this next Activia video we're going to look at the use of an absolute cell reference in a formula. We've got to work out the cost of lunches here for these meeting rooms 1 to 5. So there's a cost per lunch over in E2. We could just go ahead and go equals B2 times E2. Press enter, we get an answer here and drag this down. We can see it doesn't work if we're coming up with zeros here. If I move on to that last zero and in the toolbar, the review tab, sorry, formulas, let's add a trace on here. We can see that trace precedence reveals the use of B6, that's fine, but it's referring to E6, it's changed relative to its new position. And there's nothing in there, so the answer will be zero. Let's remove the arrows. I'm going to edit that original formula in the first cell. The E2 part, we need to always fix it to E2 over here, never change when the formula is dragged down or copy pasted. Quickest way is to press F4. This will add in dollars here, so it locks the column letter and the row number. So dollar E, dollar two will fix that to that permanent reference there. It's called an absolute reference. I'm going to take that formula, drag it down here, and it all works fine. Let's take a look at that last one with trace precedence again. And we can see that bouncing over from B6, but now it's using E2 in there. If we remove the arrows, let's click on to E2 and do a trace dependence. We can see all of those cells depend on E2 to get the cost per lunch value, and we know our formula works. Thank you.